Today I'm going to show you how to make your own sand. Um, so you only need two ingredients. The first one is some uh, baby oil. I chose to purchase Johnson & Johnson um, Shea and Cocoa Butter because I think it smells really good. And the next thing that you need is just some flour. And so the ratio for your sand, you need eight cups of flour, and then for your baby oil, um, you only need one cup of baby oil. So um, if you wanna make a little bit less than that, if that's too much, you can cut the recipe in half. You could do four cups of flour, and then just do a half a cup of baby oil, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna put my camera down here so you can see. I'm using a half cup here, um, so I'm going to take four cups of flour, so I'm going to need two of these to make one cup, since it's only a half. And then the next thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to add in a half a cup of baby oil. So baby oil is extremely slippery. Um, so if you are doing this at home, it might be a good idea to have, um, you know, a tablecloth or, you know, something nearby that can catch some of the oil so that it doesn't get on the ground. Okay, so here's my baby oil. I'm just gonna kinda make a little opening here to put the oil in. I'll just kinda gradually, that means kind of slowly, just put the baby oil in with the flour. Do a little bit more here. Because it is really oily and you wouldn't want to get this on your clothes um, you know, or on especially a carpet if you have a carpet nearby as okay, so you can kind of see that it's starting to turn more into sand a little bit more and if you do get the cocoa butter, it smells really good. And the baby oil is really good for, um, Jasper's joining us. Um, it's really good for your skin. Um, it tends to help with moisturizing and just during winter when your skin's really dry. Apparently Jasper really likes the smell as well. So I'm just kind of working this into the flour. Get some off of my hands here. And if you're feeling like it's a little bit too dry, you can always add a little bit more oil. And the opposite of that, if you feel like it's too sticky and it's getting stuck to your hands, that means you probably have um, too much oil and you can go ahead and add a little bit more flour. And I haven't tried this, but something that you might also want to consider, you could um, potentially add some food coloring to this. If you do that, you may want to wear some gloves because it will get all over your fingers and your fingernails. There you go, this is a little bit more like sand now, which is great. Um, so this isn't the type of sand that you would see um, at the beach by any means because it is made of flour and not of um, rock that has been eroded, but um, it's going to act just like sand and so you can actually form it 
like you would sand, you could build castles, you can build different shapes. Um, and this is sand that you could use in your house. And so it is going to kind of look just like sand would if it was a little bit wet. Um, and you can keep this. If you um, put it in a container, you will be able to use it eventually. It's going to dry up, but if it does dry up, again, um, just go ahead and add a little bit extra um, oil to it, and you can get it going again. So that is the uh, recipe to make your own sand, and um, you can have fun with that. You can put it in a container, you can put it on the table, um, pretty much anything that you want to do with it. It is safe. Um, these chemicals in the flour and in the coconut oil are completely safe for you. Like I said, the coconut oil is actually really good for your skin. Um, it's something that can moisturize your skin. And so it's completely fine to have this is not edible, so you wouldn't want to eat this, although flour is something that you use to cook with. Um, you wouldn't want to use this much oil and eat this, but um, it does smell really good if you use the coconut oil. And you can go ahead and try your own sand. You can make different sand castles or shapes, and I would love to see what you came up with. Have fun!